Welcome to Seacrest Technical Spotlight, where we show you how to easily perform maintenance tasks on your Seacrest Industries hyperbaric chamber. As always, if you are unsure of how to perform any of these tasks, please consult with one of our professionally trained field service technicians. Hi, I'm Matt Coleman. I'm a field service specialist with Seacrest Industries, and today we're going to be replacing a door seal. And to make this process a little bit easier, we're going to imagine your door seal like a clock. This is the 12 o'clock position, this is the 3 o'clock position, this is the 6 o'clock position, and this is the 9 o'clock position. And that's going to help us orient the new seal as we're putting it in. So our first step is going to be to remove the old door seal. We're going to start at the 6 o'clock position, and we're going to slowly work out the door seal out of the groove. Once you get it out like so, you can go ahead and just pull it out. So the next step is to examine the groove that the door seal sits in. Uh, if you have any debris inside the groove, you want to clean it out with a clean rag. Uh, just stick the, the rag inside the groove, run it all the way around, and clean out any debris. Your door seal is going to arrive in a package just like this. Uh, as soon as you get it, you want to check the part number. Make sure this is the correct part number for your chamber. This part number is uh, for a door seal for a 33H chamber, but depending upon what model chamber you have, uh, you may have a different part number. So you want to put your door seal in in the 12 o'clock position. You want to make sure the lip of the door seal is to the inside of the chamber. Push the seal in. Once you're in in the 12 o'clock position, you want to move down to the 6 o'clock position. Then you're going to come down to the 6 o'clock position, keeping the door seal evenly spaced. Push it in in the 6 o'clock position. Then you're going to move to the 3 o'clock position. Try to keep an even amount of seal on the top and the bottom and push in the 3 o'clock position. Then you're going to come over to the 9 o'clock position and just like at the 3 o'clock, you're going to make sure you have an even amount of door seal on the top and the bottom and you're going to push the door seal in in the 9 o'clock position. So now we're going to just fill in all the spots pushing in this door seal all the way around the chamber. So at this stage, the door seal doesn't need to look perfect. Uh, you may notice that it's sticking out in some areas. That's okay. Uh, we're going to close the door, and closing the door will reseat the door seal all the way around. Once you've replaced your door seal, you want to pressurize the chamber to 30 psi and make sure you don't have any leaks. Uh, if you don't have any leaks, uh, you're, com you're finished, and those are the simple steps to replace your door seal. To find out more about any of our full suite of hyperbaric products, please visit us on the web at www.secristusa.com. Our team is standing by to serve you.